boss. We need evidence to prove our suspicions about Emmerich. Head to the central base camp in Afghanistan and recover that AI pod. It's time we purge Diamond Dogs of that traitorous parasite once and for all. อีกเกือบ 30% เล่นให้ช้าที่สุดเท่าที่จะเอื่อยเฉยได้ต้องขออนุญาตทุกคนเป็นแบบนั้นด้วยเพราะงั้นไม่พอจริงๆครับเทปเยอะมากฮิวเ
There is no way to extract them from the host cells. There is no way of knowing when the last cell of Skullface's body would die. The only choice was to burn the whole thing. And his children, along with it. <laughs> and I am one to talk. When my life is snuffed out, I expect you to treat my body the same way. And when I burn, I will truly be one with my children for the first time. Skullface, real name unknown. Born in Hungary, more specifically Northern Transylvania after it reverted to Hungary from Romania. While he was young, the country allied with Germany as part of the Axis powers, but later during the war, it came under Soviet occupation. The Hungarians struggled for independence, but the Soviets came down. Hard. Just like he said, time and again, the country was ruled by a foreign tongue. When he was a young boy, he lost his native language, the bedrock for any developing child. His country, his family, his face, his identity, everything was stolen from him. All he had left was his skull. Skullface first tried his hand at espionage during all the chaos from the war. Agents, military officials, and soldiers who operated out of Hungary during the war vanished over the course of several months. This Soviet spy hunt rocked the counter-intel world. Mysterious fatal illnesses, accidental deaths, drownings, people having strokes behind closed doors. Just like Stalin, no one knew who was behind it. But all you need to do was look for who had the motive. They were all taken out by a man without a face. And now we've got an idea of how he did it too. He'd gotten revenge for his people, but he wasn't finished. Skullface defected to the West, eventually ended up with the SAS. That's where he met Zero. It's possible he began planning this whole thing back then. It's hard to say. In any case, Zero made him his XO. He always did have a thing for oddballs. But this one was set to lead a unit no one else would know about. When Zero created Fox, he also formed XOF as a support team. An unconventional special forces unit designed to support Fox, make it stronger. With Skullface given the orders, Zero never even told the boss about it. Nor the CIA, naturally. If Fox was Zero's silver bullet, XOF was the recoil when he pulled the trigger. Just like Newton's third law. While you were with Fox, Skullface was operating behind the scenes. Sometimes as your backup, sometimes as a mole or a scout, sometimes as your cleanup crew. Fox's tail, making sure the mission succeeded and that you survived. We only have his word to go on, but Skullface's goal was revenge against those who'd use language to subjugate people. Those corrupting a people's identity by forcing a new tongue on them. Those using the power of language to control information. Naturally, that set his sights on Zero. To Zero, English was simply the most convenient code. But to Skullface, English was a parasite. And by eradicating it, he'd stop the world from being eaten away. If that didn't work, he was ready to see the world scorched by nuclear fire. To save language, culture, and race from annihilation, he was willing to overstep the hands of the Doomsday Clock. That is, of course, if you believe anything he had to say. The ethnic cleansers that Code Talker mentioned they were in Skullface's true goal. All we have is circumstantial evidence, but here's my theory. It was Cypher who started developing the vocal cord parasites as bioweapons, parasitic weapons, and Africa was the testing ground for them. As Code Talker said, their purpose is the ethnic cleansing of only those who speak a particular language. So they could do a weapon of mass destruction to eradicate specific groups, races, ethnicities, or colonies by the language they speak. Or a kind of absolute language control. 
or maybe a tool for those arrogant fools to build some misguided utopia. I can see plenty of uses for them. However, in practical terms, they wouldn't be as dangerous as you think. Counteracting the parasites is easy, after all. Cut them out of your throat to save your life, or just don't talk. That also prevents the infection from spreading. So if the international community were to find out about them, they'd no longer be the threat they were conceived to be. In which case, their targets would be limited to minority groups as a deterrent or a terrorist tool. It's hard to imagine Cypher developing something like that as a main weapon for their arsenal. That leads me to think we've only tugged on one little thread in Cypher's grand tapestry. An obscure corner of their work, possibly forgotten altogether. In any case, things changed. When Skullface was forced to relocate to Africa and he saw that thread dangling. All the time he continued that research, he was secretly following his own agenda. The ethnic liberator parasites. His English language strain. Skullface said there were only three samples of the English language strain parasite. And I think we can believe him. Bringing his ethnic liberators plan to fruition depended on creating an English version of the vocal cord parasites at all costs. But an English strain would have been useless to Cypher. Worse, it could have destroyed everything they'd built. It was the one type they couldn't allow. That means Skullface was forced to develop his English strain out of sight of Cypher's network. Naturally, he couldn't use the greenhouse facility Cypher had set up and filled with guinea pigs. Skullface must have found some secret place to create his precious few English parasites, hiding all evidence like a man cheating on his wife. Somewhere, an entirely standalone environment. And when his plan entered its final phase, he must have made the place disappear. Some little room could be anywhere, but now nowhere at all. We'll never know where he did it, but to elude Cypher's surveillance, he couldn't have been big. I believe Skullface was telling the truth. There were only ever three samples of the English language strain.
will clear shortly. I barely recognize you, Colonel. Skullface used your thirst for revenge against Big Boss, did he? Fine. Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Development project has been added.